Hey dude, I'm back home for Christmas. So naturally I'm sat at my table doing the awful sort of novelist photograph pose. So I'm going to show you a few trinkets that I got for Christmas this year, in the year in which my parents and family went off to Tunisia and I was all alone. No, I'm disagreeing with you, I went to my grandparents. So anyway, first of all, I got this from Siobhan. It's a toy dog, but specifically it is a West Highland White Terrier. Not that she wants to get one of these when we get her own place or anything. She wants to dress it up in clothes, and I keep telling her it's going to get beaten up. Other than this, it's the usual array of stuff. Check shirts. This was also a check shirt. I'm starting to see what Siobhan means about me being obsessed with check shirts, given that my family seem to keep just getting them for me. <laughs> but the main gift that I got this year... Ta-da! Yeah, Siobhan has a dislike for Kindles because she likes the texture and feel of books, but, uh... Yeah. Other than this, I got the usual array of deodorants, which will tide me over until next year. I got Da God Illusion, and a weekly planner, and a photo frame. I also got these from my grandparents. They would have been more useful on the Monday night, if you know what I mean. And my auntie and uncle on my dad's side seem to be sending these out to everybody. It's quite poignant, actually. She won't got me this, although I did pick up a second-hand copy from a DVD store. Hence, I'm giving that one to mum and dad. I got a bobble hat. Finally, she won't got me this book here. Now, I haven't had the chance to read this through yet, but she won't insist that this is a very romantic book and has one particular quote that she wanted me to read. But I'll get back to you on that at some point soon. Hope you had a Merry Christmas, Steve. Take care. I'll see you soon.